What's good, YouTube? I got a well-rounded four for y'all today. But hit that like button and hit that sub button. Hit them post notice too. We gonna go six nine on this build, and this really gonna be some pressure, bro. You wanna go minimum weight? Your wingspan? You wanna go seven four? And we gonna max out the speed, max out the acceleration. Your vert, you gonna put that up to 70. So we go right there. Your stamina, we gonna put that up to 95, bro. So off rip, we gonna hit the finishing. Now we gonna hit the defense. We gonna go, nah, yeah, 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 for a fact. We gonna hit the, uh, we gonna hit the finishing. So we gonna go 85 on the standard dunk. You want to go, so you getting a rise up badge, and you getting all the standard dunk packages that you need. You not getting the big man contact dunks because you got to be 6'10". So for this one, bro, you still going to be able to get the driving contact dunks, bro. So we not getting the big man contacts, but we getting the pro driving contact dunks. And those is really some pressure, bro. But you still got a good standard dunk. And we going to go to the driving layup. You want to put that up to 68. Your coast shot, we're going to boost that right up to 90. So we're getting a gold hook specialist badge. And that is one of the most important badges for bigs, especially after the patch, bruh. Because bigs just can't do exactly what they used to be able to do a couple weeks ago, bruh. For real, for real. And... This what you gonna yeah, this for a fact what you gonna rock out with. You got 24 finishing badges and all the badges you need, bruh. Really golden hall of fame, bruh. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to set them up. But this is how we gonna rock out with. And hold on, hold on. Nah, nah. We didn't go 80 on the standard dunk. My fault, bruh. We went 90 on the standard dunk, bruh. I was looking wondering why posterizer was uh silver, bruh. <laughs> Yo, my fault. We going 90 on the standard dunk. So we good right here. And we gonna go right to the defense now. So go to your interior. You wanna go 74. Your perimeter defense, 77. And you gonna have silver clamps and silver menace on a 6'9 build. That's really some heat. To be able to keep up with the guards and everything, bruh. Cause you know, even even guards that's not under six feet and everything, the left, right cheesers and everything, bruh, you can cheese like that on a build that's taller, like like a six six build, bruh. So being six nine, it's not really like uncommon to be switched on to a six six guard or matched up on six somebody six six and everything in a wreck. So. You definitely might want to have that perimeter. So this is a fire build, bro. For real, for real. We're going to go to the steal rating. Put that up to 78. And that's going to give you the gold interceptor. Gold interceptor is exactly what you need. Especially being a big. Because being a big, you don't even need interceptor all the way up at gold. But guards, bro. Guards need it at gold. And you pretty much in between being a guard in the big really because you, you feel me you're not a, a seven footer or not you feel me being as the closer you is to seven feet it's like the lower your steal rate in needs to be honestly and that's pretty much because bigs bro they got super long wingspan and everything and a big might have a 60 steal bro and be snagging everything in the lane that come down there bro and they don't even get gold interceptor, bro. Not the seven, seven footer, seven threes, and everything. But they they got a good steal rating because the wingspan and everything. So you pretty much right in between the middle of that. But we gonna go to the block rating, and you wanna go 95. That's gonna give you the Hall of Fame Intimidator for your rebound. You wanna max that out. So you going 87 on the defensive rebound. So 25 defensive badges with 25 finishing. Really some heat, bruh. And you on a 6-9 build, bruh. So we're gonna hit the shooting. You wanna max out your three ball. Your midi, you wanna put that up to 82. Then your free throw, you wanna put that up to 73. 
So you go right here and you get in corner specialist on gold. You don't even have to be in the corner with this build though, bro. For real, for real. And you got Hall of Fame Sniper. So you wanna bro, you wanna max that out almost immediately, bro. If you get your shooting back this fast enough, first I probably would put on Yeah, bro. I would put on sniper bronze first, bro. Then go bronze blinders. And then from then on, bro, just max out the sniper. Then get to your other badges, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. But that's some heat right there. And we're gonna get to your playmaking badges. You wanna max out your speed with ball, your ball handle. We're gonna go 72 on this one. So you're gonna have a gold glue hands. And you really could choose if you wanna put that on gold, but you really don't need it with every build. You don't need it in every situation, bro. It's really. It honestly depends on the frequency of you catching the catching the ball in certain situations and everything. I know I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to how to explain it, bro. Cause even even people that play the game consistently, bro, y'all still might not know exactly what blue hands do, bro. And it's for like, bro, if you spot up a lot you almost gotta have the glue hands on bruh and if you if you catch if you catch fast break passes a lot and everything like that bruh you want to throw it on but it's like if you spot up a little bit and catch a few fast break passes a little bit yeah yeah bruh you you just might not have to throw it on because you might you might not need it and everything for some reason bruh yo that's just the way the badge work it's like it really depend on the frequency, bruh, cause I don't know, it's hard to explain, but you feel me? We gonna, uh, we gonna put the pass act at 72 and the ball handle at 72, rock out like that. So you get in, yo, for real, for real, I wanted to go 75 on the ball handle, bruh, but oh, yo, for a fact. So we could, we actually could go 75 on the ball handle, bruh. So that's some, that's some heat right there, cause I initially yeah, yeah I initially went. Oh yeah, you only get the uh, the silver special delivery unlocked, so that's not even that nothing different for real for real. Like the special delivery, you can leave that on bronze, but we gonna put the ball handle up at 75 just for more dribble packages and everything. And this we gonna rock out with right here for the well rounded four, bro. But for ya, oh yeah, we get Hall of Fame blue hands, bro. So, yo, that that really just make you a better spotter. I probably really wouldn't even put it on Hall of Fame. I still would go gold, but we gonna get to the takeovers. And yo, you got the lock and the rim take on a well-rounded four, bro. Yo, six nine, <laughs> this is crazy. But we gonna go. I probably would go with this one, bro. Yo, I honestly would go with the rim and the lock tape, bro. Like, <laughs> like, yo, that's really some pressure. I'm gonna go lock tape, then pain intimidation. Yeah, I probably would go pain intimidation because it, it just depends on what you got and more, bro. Not the uh, not the extreme clamps, cause extreme clamps is decent, bro. But that uh, enhanced jump shot contest, it's it's a little bit better, bro. And, uh, perimeter badge drop is good too, bro. But you got a well-rounded four with some ball handle, bro. And we gonna get right into the badges. So you wanna put on hook specialist gold, mouse in the house bronze, rise up. Posterizer, limitless takeoff, fast twist, bruh. I definitely would go at least silver on that one. Slithery, yo, that's that make it tough. I ain't even gonna lie. Slithery make you wanna just go silver. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I would go silver on the slithery and keep rise up gold, rise up hall of fame. It really just don't seem, yo, for real, for real. Yeah, Rise Up Hall of Fame just don't seem like too much different than Silver, bruh. So, 
Yeah, yo, honestly, bruh, I probably, I probably would go. Like, gold is a little bit better than than silver, but Hall of Fame is like Hall of Fame feel almost like gold, depending on how you got the rest of your badges set up. Like, we gonna we gonna rock out like that, but I just don't think Rise Up is fire on Hall of Fame, bro. Cause if you got 99 standard dunk and Hall of Fame, uh, Rise Up, bro, with the Hall of Fame posterizer. I feel like you should be punching everything standing, bro. Like almost no questions asked, bro. Like, like you shouldn't have to work as hard as you gotta work and everything to get the punch. But we gonna, uh, you just could count on your other badges more than you could count on the rise up. But we gonna throw on the blinders, at least bronze, bro. Your catch and shoot silver, green machine bronze, lucky seven, sniper hall of fame, high zone hunter. And yo, you really got a good amount of shooting badges. I would throw on the corner specialist bronze. That's a good badge bronze. And your volume shooter. If you really shooting like that, bruh, you could put that on, but you honestly don't need it. I probably would put up. Like you could go with the fade ace if you're rocking with the fades. If that's your play style. But the limitless spot up even, you could rock with that. And I probably would go like a dead eye. Lucky seven, you could go silver, that's crazy. <laughs> your glue hands, we gonna put that on gold. And again, bro, depend on your play style. Like if you spotting up a lot, bro, or if you catching uh, passes to the lane a lot, you do wanna throw that on. And it's really, it's really like, bro, if you notice, if you, uh, it's like, like the best way to explain it is if you catching a lot of fast break passes like like bro i know y'all y'all know this your big man might throw the ball out of bounds on a fast break pass if y'all just got like four back to black back to back plays where uh your big man just threw the outlet pass and on the fifth one bro it's like for some reason it's gonna be a turnover and that's that's what glue hands is for bro it's for those times when 2k is gonna give you that bad animation bro that's that's the best way to explain it bro i really had to think about that i ain't even gonna lie but we gonna throw the uh the bronze unpluckable on this build you got post playmaker you got dimer bro those is great badges for bigs and i would throw on my fault you don't gotta throw uh handles for days on silver but I would throw on Space Crater, and Space Crater work for like your, like your post phase and everything. A, a lot of like like post moves you could do and everything, bro. You can't get that Space Crater to work. But for your defensive badges, we gonna go Intimidator, Rebound Chaser, Menace, Hustler, Chase Down. We gonna go Silver on the Chase Down. Clamps, we gonna go bronze on that. Interceptor, rim protector, gold. Pogo, I definitely would throw that on silver, maybe gold, but silver at least. And your box, bro, you get box on Hall of Fame, bro. Yo, I really might throw that on Hall of Fame, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. But the other point, you could probably throw in a worm. And yeah, like you could even throw on the ankle braces, bro, because you got perimeter and you could be switched on to those guys, bro, with those crazy badges. And yo, even trash players, bro, like they don't even gotta be good, bro. Like if they come down and hit the right move by accident, bro, it could have you bobbling, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you, but I'm gonna holler at y'all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.